And all I could see in the smoke was three kids and they were screaming. And it was screams of terror. I mean, it's something you never forget. A camera mounted on a firefighter's helmet captured these intense moments after arriving at an apartment fire. Now the team rushed into the burning apartment complex to save children. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Ann Holt. Last night, we introduced you to the young Lawrenceburg boy who ran door to door to save his sleeping neighbors. Five people, including three children, were trapped. Luckily, firefighters saved them all. Only on Nashville's News 2, Joseph Pleasant tracked down the firefighter who caught the dramatic scene on video. Uh, there's a fire at 405 Oak Street. Within minutes of this 911 call, members of Lawrenceburg's fire department's second shift arrived at the Oak Grove Apartments. John Brewer was wearing his fire helmet with a camera mounted on the side. You are seeing what Brewer saw Wednesday morning. As soon as we arrived, they, the people around notified us there were people trapped. And in firefighting, rescue is the first priority. You can hear people screaming. Then Brewer steps around the building and captures a dramatic rescue. Firefighters lowering a young girl from a smoke-filled balcony to rescuers below. And all I could see in the smoke was three kids, and they were screaming. And it was screams of terror. I mean, it's something you never forget. In all, the Lawrenceburg Fire Department has four helmet-mounted cameras just like this one. After a fire, they review the video to see what went well and what didn't go well. In this case, everything went as well as it could. We're very fortunate this morning, th that morning that uh, there wasn't several fatalities, to be quite honest. This video and the story of how eight-year-old Jonathan Bent ran door-to-door -to, -door to wake up his neighbors is getting worldwide attention. While we were in the fire chief's office, a Japanese news outlet called. The guys on shift did awesome. If it wasn't for the seven men working that day, None of this would have happened. There's no individual hero at all. It's a happy ending to this story, just as Brewer prepares for a new chapter himself. He gets married on Saturday. In Lawrenceburg, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Fire investigators say a cigarette started Wednesday's fire. The fire is being ruled accidental and no criminal charges are expected. The Red Cross is assisting those displaced by the fire.